this is the inside of a scam call center and these people are about to regret their decision of challenging a professional hacker. Their fraudulent call center is located on the third floor of this building, hidden above an electronic shop in the depths of Janakpuri, New Delhi, and these people are running a fake Amazon and PayPal campaign in which they blast out hundreds of thousands of emails like this, claiming that the recipient has an unauthorized purchase on their account, and if they do not agree to this, they have to call support for a cancellation. Welcome to Amazon. My name is James. How may I assist you? Give me, give me the uh, police number. I'm, I'll call the police department. You don't know what's the police number? No, I do not. Just go to the Google type over there. Why are you asking me all that? Go to where? Ask somebody else, ma'am. Why are you asking me that? You're the one that's calling me. I'm not calling anyone else. Go to hell. Go to hell. I'm not the one who called you, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, okay, that is not how a normal call goes. Usually the person that calls in does genuinely believe that some unauthorized person has bought something on their account and they are desperate to get help from a person that they don't yet know is about to ruin their life. I will give you details which you have to tell the customer service person of our bank. Let me get the details ready for you, ma'am. Just give me one minute here. Uh, I'm going to mention the amount that you're going to make the wire transfer for 107000 the person that is after your money is not a proclaimed hacker that the email tells you is in your account making purchases, but it's actually the person that you call to get help, which is one of the 15 agents that work in this scam office. After hacking this network and doing some quick file research, I managed to tie these scam employees to an Indian company named Shreem Breezy Telecommunications Private Limited, and some important information comes up when we run that company name through Google search engine. First of all, it's always good to get an exact location, which according to Google is Office B52 on the second floor of the community center in Janakpuri, New Delhi, India, but according to the Wi-Fi access points around these scammers, their laptops, they are actually eight minutes away from from this location on the third floor above the electronic paradise opposite metro pillar number 543 in Janakpuri, New Delhi. Google also shows us when these scammers are supposed to be working, which is from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Indian time, but this would be nighttime in America, and so it doesn't make sense seeing that these people target American citizens with their scam campaign. This daytime shift is actually a different group of people working a legitimate job in a different building, which is a cover for this scam operation. We will see more of them later. In reference to the legitimate business behind Shreem and Breezy on Google, there is nothing much mentioned about them being open during the night time. But when we look at job offers for this company, all of a sudden they do have a night shift. And what do you know? These vacancies are for telecalling, for which you have to be male, speak advanced English, handle US customers by convincing them through cold calling. Not talk to me inside the store, I'll be putting you on hold, okay? I won't be able to hear you. Okay. Okay, sweet. Be careful what you do with your phone. Ma'am, don't tell anything about that. it. Don't tell I'm anything about to... it. Don't talk to anyone. Ma'am? 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 Ma'am, can you hear me? Big nightmare. Ma'am, can you hear me? Ma'am, do not talk to anyone or do not speak to anyone sure, about the hacking. I told you, you are speaking to people about hacking. Okay, but don't yell don't at me, speak okay? to people. Part of their cover is also a Facebook social media page on which we can see some festive videos to show how fun it is to scam people. <laughs> Pictures taken inside the same office that we can see on the CCTV cameras and very generic quotes about outsourced call centers. On the Facebook page, they once again snitch on themselves with the shift times, but this time also breaking the lie of only doing outbound calls as there is a mysterious inbound campaign as well. Of course, without description as this is the scam campaign. They are an actual registered corporation in India with some information about them publicly available, like the fact that the company is one and a half year old. Tanya Singh is the CEO and Manisha Singh is the founder. Together they are the two directors and Tanya seems to be the main person in the scam business as her email address is the company's contact email. I shared some of this information with friends of mine and they were already familiar with the Shreem Brzee company name as they had previously found an offer letter from them and my friends even had access to a different set of CCTV cameras linked to this company. 
Remember that address that Google incorrectly gave to us at the community center in Janakpuri? Well, it turns out that the legitimate part of this telecommunication company does actually work from there in the daytime. My friends originally hijacked the CCTV cameras in this building a year ago, which is when the scam operation used to still work their night shift in the same building as the legitimate daytime people. They must have realized that this is not a very strong plan in terms of operation security and have since completely separated the scam process to the electronic paradise office. Here in July of 2022, when the scammers were still working in the community center building, we can see the CEO, Tanya Singh, in their old office. The same Tanya Singh we can see here, eight months later, in their new office as well. Unfortunately, two weeks into my investigation, they somehow found out that I was watching their cameras, went into a complete frenzy, and got even so scared that they decided to stop scamming. But after a three-week break, they did come back. Unfortunately, this time without CCTV cameras, in another new building with new computers computers and a complete new scam. Hi, this is Robert calling from Xfinity Comcast. How are you doing today? Okay, what kind of scam do you have for me today? Kind of scam. Wow, after apparently working for Amazon and PayPal, these guys are now working for Comcast? They must be great at business. <laughs> Let's see how they make sales. Do you have an ATM, automatic tailor machine, near to your location? <laughs> Alright, All right. the available balance is 458. Go back to the safe way. Now, you need to load $400. <laughs> oh wow, that doesn't seem very professional. I'm starting to doubt the fact that they are actually authorized BPO personnel for Comcast. Are they scammers? Surely not. They are very professional, I think. Recording and taking it to the police. And I'm taking, as a matter of fact, I'm right by the police station. Let me go in here right now. Officer, 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 please come here. Tell your husband to slap the police officer. Hello. Oh, oh my God, fuck me. I'm a Barbie girl. I'm living in my own world. I know your address. I will come to your home and kill both of you. Uh, I know you home, I will, uh, I'm gonna kill you both of you guys. I will kill, I will kill both of you. I'm going to come to your house right now. I have three guns with me and I will put... You have my dick. I think you have my dick in your hand. Please check. Okay, I think it is pretty clear now that these guys are trying to steal money and are not at all working for any legitimate multinational company. Back when they were running their Amazon and Microsoft scheme, they used to steal money by way of gift cards for victims with a balance under $10,000 and also wire transfers for bigger amounts. Here, for example, we can see the scammer connected to a victim's phone that has just purchased an Apple gift card. Here, another one. Here, we can see wire transfer details and some more money being stolen through Apple gift cards and and Zell pay. Once the scammer gets Money Mule wire details, he shares this information with the victim, makes them go to the bank, where they then provide these details to a teller inside of the branch. The teller will perform the wire transfer, which is usually an amount between $20,000 and $250,000. The victim will get a wire receipt from the bank, which they then have to share with the scammers, along with a picture of their ID card as well. So can you show me the driving license, ma'am? Just put on your thigh, like a driving license, the front side. This is pretty dangerous as the scammers save these pictures in an unencrypted way on their unprotected scam computer which could lead into a sensitive ID document falling into the hands of someone with bad intentions and eventually lead to identity theft. This is exactly the reason why I have partnered up with the sponsor of today's video, Aura, which is an identity guard that will protect your identity, finances and sensitive data with a $1 million insurance policy that covers eligible losses. A very popular method that scammers use these days to convince their victims that they're actually calling from a legitimate company is that they give the victim personal details which they find on web pages like 411locate.com, that's them.com and peoplefinder.com. It is pretty scary that for most people their home address, emails and phone numbers are publicly up for grabs on these web pages. Or is here to resolve issues like this as they can identify which exact data broker is selling and exposing your
your information and Aura will send a legal obligation to all of these brokers to remove your data. They even go as far as thoroughly searching the dark web for your personal details and will alert you if any identity theft takes place on here as well. The app also includes a password manager and antivirus all in one, which you can get an exclusive deal on through my link aura.com slash scambaiter, which will get you a 14 day free trial risk free with Aura's 60 day money back guarantee. Please make sure you use the link in the description aura.com slash scambaiter to get a free trial so you can make sure that your information isn't being auctioned to scammers and hackers. Anyways, I said that these scammers used to steal money through wire transfers and gift cards. Now they have completely shifted the gift cards only as I kept reporting their wire accounts and no money was coming through. And then what about stealing big amounts? Well, they have found a solution for this, which is sending their victim to 50 different stores, making it a five day long journey where the victim has to work for hours and hours only to end up losing money, practically being forced to dig their own grave. You can see a card number like in a 16 or in the 19 numbers. So first of all, you need to confirm with a card number. Yeah, miss, that was absolutely correct. And now just grab the second card. And now just grab the third card. And now just grab the fourth card. All right, miss, got you. And now just grab the fifth card. So now miss, grab the uh, uh, next card and confirm the card number, then okay. a pin number. And now miss, just grab the next there, card. Cody? All right, miss, got you. And now just grab the next card. And there's any card left or you have you are done with all the cards? Yes. There's one left. Alright. No problem, miss. This grave digging gift card journey doesn't always go as planned though. Because I think right now you're trying to waste my time. It's been a four hour, you're not doing anything, mother cho I wish you I wish you get a heart attack now. I'm asking you a simple question, how much you have withdrawn? Listen to me, listen to me, mother chot first, listen to me. Why you were discussing the entire procedure with your bank people? Haven't I told you that you need to keep it private and confidential? See that's why that's why I am talking to you very politely, Arthur. But you are the one who is trying my patience right now. The scammers know that any slip up from the victim's end will put a stop to their scam as their manipulation will be debunked. The victim is the only person that believes the fake scam story and sometimes saving them doesn't even stop the scam where they can even ignore warnings from their own partner. Come on, just trust so, hurry up. You don't have any time to talk, just do it. We're going to Depot. I couldn't do shit because right, everything is in here. Hurry up, we have you, zero time. Will you tell me what's going on? I'm trying to. What are you doing? What are you doing? I am trying to save our money. I've been calling. You can't call. I don't want you on the phone. They've been listening on your phone. You stupid. Oh, Bola, this is a scam. This is a scam. The way these people are speaking to you, this is a scam. You say, that's what it's a scam. Ajeeb customer hai. Bibi kuch nahi bol raha hai. Bibi achha hai. Matlab Bibi ko to brainwash de diya ye log. Do the scammers themselves believe that they work for Comcast? Well, no. We are not doing our normal. You know, we are not working for any kind of normal jobs, right? We are also stealing from someone. Yeah, yeah. But there has to be some, uh, you know, ethical ways. No. This is right. Yeah, a team and a family works. Though it is a scam. See, the thing is that if we have details of the customers, uh -huh. that is a different scenario. We start the call from the scratch. We do not know anything about the customer. Everything we bluff, okay? And whatever we speak, whatever we are pretending to be. Everything is fake. So there are 99% chances that customer will identify that this is a scam. When nobody else steps in to save the day, it is up to me to prevent people from losing their life savings. Unfortunately, I cannot save everyone. So the next best thing that I can do is just to call the scammers up and destroy their entire operation. Hello? Yes, hello. Hello, sir. My name is Harry, calling you from Comcast Infinity. How are you doing today? I'm doing fine. Okay, ma'am. So this service call is regarding to your internet update. Do you have some any things like computer, laptop? I have a laptop. iPad. Can you go in front of your laptop? Okay. Now I'm going to transfer the call now to the senior technician. Do you see on the left bottom corner of your screen, do you see anydesk.exe? Open file. Do you see that? Yes, yes. Let me go ahead and connect you. This is all the line. All right, that's it. right. Hello? 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 Yes, mother Why are you trying to scam my mother? Huh? You mother Hello? What do you say? Why are you trying Hello? to scam my mother? 
You can you talk? Delete, delete, delete. Delete? He's panicking. Why is he panicking already? I haven't even done anything, bro. Wait, like this. Like this. Oh, so you can like me now? What is it? Why is change right now? YouTuber can I say too? Do you do a I'm gonna show him. Scan by this. It's him, Anything, 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 an